This is the wig doctor, Antoinette. I'm here to do an emergency surgery on this wig block. I got some information about this patient right here. The patient is 22 years old. Uh, and apparently something happened. Where is it? The patient had to be rushed in to my, to my shop. Well, my emergency room. Right here, oh my goodness. Somebody must have hit him, hit him from the side, coming from behind. Here, I think they got him right there too. Let's see, oh, and right here, look like they almost hit him in the jugular, if that's what a jugular is. But anyway, I have to do an emergency surgery on this wig block to save his life, because right now, it look like he's about to lose a lot of sawdust blood. So, to prevent that from happening, so that it won't waste any more blood. It's all those blood. I have to go in and do the surgery now. So, oh, my goodness. We're here to save a wig block's life. Okay. I gotta lay them down. Oh. Give them some anesthesia. Okay. Let's see how deep the gash is. Oh goodness. Let me see. Can this be repaired? To perform the surgery, I'm going to need to use a skin graft, a ventilating needle, and some black transparent thread, and some scissors. This surgery, I feel like there's hope in this surgery, so let's get this moving. Okay, so going in. surgery looks like it's going to take about eight hours to do. This is real crucial. This is Dr. Wig coming to you all with an update about my patient that came in um, earlier today. The surgery was a success. Of course, we ran into a few complications, but we were all able to overcome them. Um, I had to do a skin transplant on the, uh, the patient. So the patient is doing fine. They are in recovery. and. Um, the transplant went very well. I am pleased with the work. Again, like I said, the patient age is 22, so he was able to pull through surgery very well. So the patient is able to return back to work starting tomorrow with a full recovery. So thank you all for your prayers and and, and your well wishes for this patient. Again, everything was a success.